my apologies uh, apparently my mic has been muted i've been you know providing some great analysis but <laughs> once again uh, i'm getting the better of myself uh, but nonetheless so I'm, I'm just going to go through a run through of what I was saying. So basically, uh, the thermite ban, very common ban. That's, you know, a hard destruction. You know, you ban thermite, you know, very, very common ban. Montane ban, uh, out of reanimated gaming saying, hey, we don't want to deal with Montane, a comfort ban. And of course, another comfort ban with the Ella, don't want to deal with that shotgun. And uh, an Echo, Echo is really banned by teams. I, I feel like Echo is banned when teams don't know, you know, what entirely they, they want to get rid of. And so, you know, at the end of this end of the span phase heading into this first round on bathroom tellers uh, interesting that we see artemis holding bathroom tellers to start us off uh, looking to catch a uh, reanimated gaming off guard uh, but the thing about uh, this hold is that uh, reanimated gaming you know had a great attack on the bathroom tellers last week on border and they had a great defense on bathroom tellers last week so i'm sure they have an idea on how they can deal with this hold and uh, let's see how they execute it as you see what, what you'll see Artemis do here is what they're going to do is they're going to play four or five people upstairs in this office archives area and use these mirrors to hold down a bunch of different angles. And it'll be very important for Havana and Thatcher to work together to get rid of some of these mirrors. So now you see Omen hopping on a drone, kind of launching that drone across into security room. A great throw right there. Uh, really cut down on the time that's going to be wasted as Nomad pushing right in on the sledge. A bomb has been located. Right behind drone support, we'll get rid of that barbed wire. And so you do see four defenders uh, playing in the office fountain archives area. And you see Jaeger playing downstairs. It looks like in the bathroom, actually. Yeah, Jaeger is playing in the bathroom. Interesting adjustment uh, as the drone will spot out Jaeger there. As Sledge now moving into the armory side uh, with support from Zofia lacking a little bit behind. You know, sledging down this archives wall, Nomad looking to make a push onto this Mira, but Mira should be playing behind a Mira uh, in this archive side. Yeah, it'll be very hard for Nomad to push this as there is an ADS protecting. As there is an ADS uh, protecting uh, this Mira from these grenades. They will need to burn it with either flashbangs uh, or maybe a, no a Nomad launcher, as one grenade will get gone and that Nomad launcher will burn that ADS. And now Ekkage should be feeling some pressure as Bandit is not there to shuffle the wall. Kind of a little bit of a miscue out of the defenders. And then now the expert playing Zofia kind of launching some shots through this Habana hole that's been opened up. It's, it's moved Mira, uh, not moved Mira off of her window. She's still playing there. So Habana will need to take out this other Mira as she's just continuing. Uh, and that C4 will come out at Ekkage and kill Nomad. Great kill as J Javias will get a kill onto Omens and all of a sudden in a, a 5v3. And now, you know, even though Mira is not super weak, so is Zofia. While Zofia can pick herself up, uh, this is looking great for Artemis right now. As Montel will get a kill under the expert. And now in a 5v2, Artemis with all kind of momentum, just carrying it over from the last match. They are playing right now. As uh, Ekkage, should she, the, the Nomad right here, not moving at all. So she's probably going to be calling out. Nomad looking at the archives door and now... And, you know, now peeking the mirror as Todd the God will get a great kill on it easily. That's that's kind of a kill that you want. And now, you know, Todd the God might be able to take control of the site. However, there's probably holes in the floor. So they, they need to take control of this upstairs, you know, little setup uh, that Artemis has set up. But right now, it's not looking great for reanimated. As Javias will get a kill on the ice. And now it is all up to Todd the God. Todd the God playing below, uh, right next to Castle right now. Should see Castle here in a second. Missing a little bit of shots on the castle, but does end up taking him out. And Todd McGod will recognize that shot through the hatch. We'll see the, the smoke and just hesitates a little bit. And that air jab launcher almost launching him down the hatch. But nonetheless, he will be able to get away. And now he should see Bandit here in a second. Bandit does slow peek that. And Todd McGod able to get an easy kill. And that's three kills for Todd McGod to run. But with 10 seconds left and without the diffuser, he needs to get these kills. No one is playing downstairs. Maybe catch someone through the hatch. Uh, but with five seconds left in this round, it is going to look like Artemis will take this first round victory. And that will be all. No one peeking the holes in the floor. Playing smart for Artemis. And that's a great round one victory. You know, taking it to an off site. Not taking, you know, your strong site of armory. Uh, your second site of workshop. And then now, you know, you're heading into the driver's seat. Heading into round two. That's a great round one. And so now, another interesting site decision. Uh, Artemis is deciding to go to Customs Inspection Supply Room. So Artemis really showing that they have a plan laid out, they know their strats, they know what they're supposed to do, and now heading into the second offsite, we'll see how they hold this. And I'm sure Reanimated has no idea that this hold is coming out. Uh, I'm sure that they're thinking they're, they're laying out a plan right now on how to take Armory after losing that first site onto Tellers, uh, but Artemis deciding to go to Customs Inspection Supply Room should throw them off once more. 
So we do see a Cade this time. I do like the Cade selection. Cade, Cade with that shotgun, you know, or the or the Alb. Uh, both of those guns are very, uh, very good. From being by it's now in this custom site, we'll see Bandit reinforcing uh, the wall right there in the southwest room. Uh, I forget what that room is called exactly. Uh, detention. We'll mark that down for next time. But uh, easily and enforcing the custom inspection wall as well as Castle. Reinforcing over by Tellers. By so it attack. looks like Castle with these barricades will probably end up extending the site out with these Castle barricades and reinforcements. Probably, yeah. Uh, barricading off Tellers' door right there, making a rotation into workshop. Kind of, kind of, you know, uh, making a hold similar to how you hold workshops. And, uh, yeah, he re also castled off the double door. So kind of, you know, just making a little maze of this Castle barricade. We also saw him do this on the cafe map, which was very effective. So now Ekid right here, shotgunning out the wall right here, uh, opening up holes to throw C4s into the plant spot in A-bomb. I, I do like those holes as well. Uh, for this attack to really work out for reanimated, they're going to have to take control of upstairs. And right now you see Ice RG uh, droning into Passport's entrance. As you see the attackers really, you know, amassing outside of Passport's entrance, maybe looking to make a push through the castle barricade of the main lobby. Uh, but right now, you know, just sitting on drones, biding their time, seeing, you know, what the defense is giving them, seeing if they can, you know, make this push. But right now you see Nomad here uh, pushing into security room. We'll take out the Valkyrie camera. Great use of her utility. And then now uh, looking uh, through the floor, might be able to, you know, see some more gadgets, maybe see some ADSs and, and things like that. He will take out the default camera as well. And then on top of the god, finally hopping in off a drone, uh, peeking into passport entrance. No, no one knows no one is in there. And there goes Nomad getting a great kill on the easily playing the Jaeger. Upstairs in the hallway, and that's a great kill. Uh, a great tone setting kill to start off this round and then now you know this attack is a little a little less you know effective as the jaeger is off the board and that is the roamer and then now the only real roamer left is this castle who's playing in the workshop uh, along with the valkyrie uh, with only two site defenders this is looking kind of good uh, for reanimated as you see two repel into the balcony upstairs, that is the IQ, as IQ jumps right down into Passport's entrance. Maybe looking to put some pressure onto this castle, but these castle barricades should stop that push in their tracks. As you see the Habana right here opening up a rotation hole into the bomb site, uh, should be looking to use, you know, this Habana Pellas as a way into the site. As it looks like Bandit is rotating to look at that hole. No, he's not. So I don't think anyone, yeah, anyone has noticed that that hole has been open, so they can take control of site right now. Because there is actually no one holding that as the castle barricade should keep them safe, safe from approaching in. Reloading on ammo. So you just see the attackers right now, they're just posturing outside of the objective, kind of forcing the defenders into spots they don't want to be. They should be looking to take advantage of this right now, as a Montel on the castle will get knocked back by the air jab and kind of, you know, not killed, but still, you know, cut off from where he wanted to go. And the Nomad on the IQ is now rotating into, you know, we'll see Bandit right here, as Bandit just runs right into objective, has havers haphazardly we will take out skates as they murder my words as Javis will get a kill into ice rg and now it is all up to castle cade and valkyrie and castle we'll see the iq right there misses shots iq albeit at half health as expert gets a kill into javias and that is the bandit off the board or i mean the valkyrie off the board he will take out ekage as well and now it's all up to castle in a 4v1 uh, with site control the plant should be going down here momentarily 10 seconds to go as the attackers just kind of you know holding angles right now as iq may be looking to get his kill onto the castle his castle is right next to him he has no idea castle could be got right now gonna go on to nomad and montel gets a, a great shot through the wall as the plant is going down by the expert as montel playing this castle should be looking uh, to maybe pick someone off but right now the attackers playing smart just holding some tight little angles that castle cannot get any peaks off picks off of and now in a 3v1 uh, the clock is ticking down they really need to make something happen as Todd the God will get a kill into Montel, and the attackers will win round number two. You know, after dropping the first one off on an off-site, they are able to they are able to make the adjustments and they will uh, win this customs inspections hold. And what that'll do, that'll probably force Artemis to actually go down to the you know the strong site of Armory Lockers uh, archives, which they will do that just now. And then so pretty much the same exact setup. Yeah, same exact operators we saw at Artemis last time, uh, but this time they're bringing in a Pulse and a Maestro, actually. So, changing it up a little bit. Still opportunity for a sixth pick, but I wouldn't bet on it. This Pulse is actually switching to Mira. I like the Mira selection. Mira you see commonly banned on 
on border. And so it's uh, it's great to see, you know, what Mirror can do here as Ekage. Uh, really played great on Mirror last game, so I'm interested to see these Mirror holds as the six pick from Jackal onto Jackal. Uh, no change there. Attackers need to locate and defuse. So if Reanimated wants to sustain the success they had that last attacking round, uh, once again they need to really pinch the Roamer uh, easily. They need to pinch him and they need to get him off the board. And it looks like they're planning Attackers on doing just that, you know, bringing the Jackal. It uh, should be easy to track him down as you know. Once you find his footsteps, it's kind of, you know, it's like shooting fish in a barrel, so. And so as the setup is going down, uh, we'll see where, where Mira decides to place her black mirrors. Uh, probably one in Fountain and one in the small office. Uh, very standard Mira setup. You see it all the time. Uh, while it is standard, it is still effective. But with a Habana and a Thatcher, it should be easy to get those mirrors off the wall. So we'll see how the attackers decide to make their entrance. As you do see the Thatcher shooting in to customs inspection uh, through the detention wall. Yeah, Jaeger playing in offices with this Mira. I don't think Mira placed down her second black mirror yet. She still has the second black mirror in her pocket, and it looks like she is pushing it, putting it on the armory desk. And that means she probably put the other one on the armory wall. I'm actually not sure which one, but nonetheless, this attack is still going down as Jackal is droning down in the workshop looking for any first floor roamers, but there are no first floor roamers. So on Nomad playing Ike, will hop down the, you know, the balcony right there on the, the armory wall. And now Sophia, what Sophia is doing right here, opening up holes on the floor, making it so that Bandit cannot shuffle this wall. The Habana pellets will go down, and as Bandit tries to put this Bandit battery here, should get shot, but does land some shots. Actually lands no shots onto the Zofia. Looked like he landed the shots, but Zofia in turn landing shots onto the Bandit. Zofia will land more shots, and that'll probably force Sky uh, off of this wall right here, as he is still holding this tough. Uh, he will uh, yeah, not be able to get these Habana pellets off. Of Habana will end up opening up the wall. Habana maybe needs to save this last Habana pellet, as Ice RG... Uh, gets the kill on Ekage. That's a great kill. Uh, maybe shooting it, yeah, shooting it through the bus window, maybe through a wall or something. Uh, but that is the mirror off the board, and that is the presence away from the small office mirror. So now Bandit will shoot these mirror pellets off the wall. Actually misses one, and that one is just enough to open up the wall. And Sky just too late, not able to see the IQ, able to see the IQ more, but not enough bullets in this clip, can't land the kill. And IQ will rotate away. Uh, Bandit still in relative safety. Uh, but nonetheless, IQ still being below him will make it, you know, difficult for Sky to sit here. And just kind of, you know, looking through the floorboards as Javias playing the Maestro will look to cover his rush. As Jackal shot the one health and the headshot of Montel will put him out of his misery as he easily gets to kill into the expert and Nomad will get to kill into the Sky. I think Nomad might have, no, Nomad did not push into sight, finally got the kill through the floorboards and now in a 3v3, uh, one weak defender and one weak attacker with one defender at half health, that is the Valkyrie. We'll see what they decide to do with this. As Habana will take out the barbed wire and A-bomb. Uh, we'll see the Maestro, but Maestro able to land the shots as Nomad pushes in. And Javias with a double kill, great double kill out of Javias, and it's all left to top of God playing in the break room. So we'll probably end up rotating into security. He needs to pick up the diffuser, uh, but with Maestro really weak and Valkyrie uh, really weak, with this L85 is still very clutchable. He needs to make his move now, however. Uh, should see the Meister here shortly, as Meister is playing yeah, right behind this wall, but I'm willing to bet Meister is going to play it patiently, as Todd the God just needs to make his Five move right now. Maybe seeing the Valkyrie here soon behind the Archive's desk, misses the shots of the Valkyrie, and Maestro will push up aggressively. Maestro making the smart decision, will pull right back into the office, give no kills to Todd the God, and the defenders will win round number three. Really a uh, back and forth game right now, you know, even though we're heading into the fourth round. Uh, just some some impact frags on both sides, uh, swinging the round in one one direction to the other, and uh, right now, you know Artemis going to bathroom tellers once more, saying, "Hey, uh, we feel very confident in our bathroom tellers hold, so we're gonna run it again on you." Uh, but after you know seeing their hold uh, one time, I feel like Reanimated should be able uh, to you know work up a strategy on how to take down this hold. As Ekage switching from the Valkyrie to the Mira, uh, maybe trying to disguise what type of hold they were doing, trying to make it look like they were holding the Teller's archives. Uh, or 
yeah, or workshop <laughs> ventilation room, I mean. Uh, uh, but holding, you know, this bathroom tellers right here, uh, we'll probably end up seeing the same strategy once more. Probably, you know, Jaeger sitting in the A-bomb uh, with four defenders roaming, uh, not really roaming, but playing a, a kind of site defense above the site in the office archives area with the support of Ekage playing the mirror. You know, I do like Ekage on Mira a lot as well. Uh, Ekage has proven today to be a really good Mira. Uh, we saw really good Mira plays, you know, on Cafe, which led them to a 7-1 victory on Cafe. Uh, probably won't end up getting a 7-1 victory on the animated. As, you know, both of these teams, both equally talented. And so I'm expecting to see a very close match. I would not be surprised if this goes to distance to maybe like an 8-7. Uh, but until then, you know, I have 2-1 advantage. We'll see how this round turns out for Artemis. Jaeger dropping down the, you know, the balcony right there uh, in the East Steps hallway. And then now just playing sight once more, putting down his ADSs. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure how effective those ADSs will be downstairs. I feel like you want those ADSs upstairs, you know, with the rest of your defenders that are holding this, you know, archives wall. As Bandit will look to get this, this reinforcements down. I'm not sure if anyone, you know, knows he's doing this. Getting these reinforcements late, that should be something that someone could maybe punish him for. Uh, but instead, you know, Smoke is able to finish off this reinforcement right here. You know, mirror placement on both of her mirror balls is shotgunning the floor out uh, to stop any type of bathroom plant. And so Ash will take down the castle barricade, uh, securing you know the office balcony right there. And now Sledge taking control of armory, uh, shooting into Arkans. The smoke knocked really, really weak by the Ash. Did you see the attackers rotating from security? Uh, into armory, and looking to get into archives here soon. Uh, they really need to get the mirror off the wall right here in archives. Uh, and this fountain wall will get opened up by the Habana once more, as Ekage on the mirror will need to hold this down. He is looking to rip the C4 once more, kind of rips the C4. No one by that C4 is open to come on to Montel. That's a huge pick. And we'll see the sledge miss a ton of shots under the sledge and knock down to a pixel of health. And right now, it's looking like reanimated. Might have the advantage right here. Ekage is kind of shooting some pre fires towards the sledge. And the splash paint should come out saying, hey, there's no ADSs up here. And Sledge should be looking to grenade Ekage, but Ekage identifying that the grenade was coming out, pushes that Nomad at the right time and gets a great kill. And now to a 4v4 as Ice pushes in on the Ash. And Slay will take down Ash as Ice RG kills Javias. Uh, and Ekage downs, it looks like, Zofia. Zofia should be able to pick herself up. And now in a 2v2 with two incredibly weak defenders. Uh, one incredibly weak attacker and a full health Habana. Right now it's a, a little bit. In reanimated its favor, health-wise. They do have upstairs control, and now Jaeger and Bandit need to be careful. Uh, one shot anywhere from any gun will take them out. But hearing that breach charge going down, Bandit just kind of sprays some shots to the floor, trying to almost catch on that Zofia. And uh, right now, you know, 30 seconds left, it's looking like it's kind of swinging uh, more in Artemis's favor. I think possibly they might be looking to drop down the B hatch here soon. It looks like that is, you know, the plan. As Habana will drop down the hatch. They do have sight control. There is no one playing in sight. Uh, Habana looking to get this diffuser down. And the defenders have no idea what's going down. As Bandit kind of throws some shots to the wall. Easy kill on an expert. He's super weak. We'll see the Habana too. And Omens gets a kill on the Habana. Habana at about 75 health. It's a 1v1 against this uh, easily. And Omens. And then easily kind of throwing some pre-fires out, shooting through the wall, trying to see if we can catch Habana. But Habana right now, sitting in a safe corner in Tellers, is just waiting on Jaeger to push through the doorway. If Jaeger wants to have any choice in here, he needs to uh, turn the corner quick and get a quick headshot. But Omen's able to easily take out easily, and the attackers will win round number four. Great teamwork right there, uh, out of the Zofia and the Habana. Uh, Zofia maybe prematurely hopping out of that window right there. Uh, he probably could have sat inside... You know, and Teller's a little bit longer, maybe, you know, delaying time a little bit. Uh, but nonetheless, his, you know, his death kind of made it a little bit easier uh, for Habana to pick up the kill into the bandit. And now heading into round number five, uh, Artemis is finally deciding to go to Ventilation Room Workshop. And what I'm really glad to see out of these two teams is uh, just how, you know, the different sites that we're seeing. You know, we've seen every single site this game. And now finally, you know, they're heading downstairs uh, to the Ventilation Room Workshop, which is considered, you know, the second best site on the map. And Ekage switching from the Mira to Akade, maybe saying, hey, uh, we played Mira last time on the Teller, so maybe, you know, trying to make Reanimated think of an attack plan uh, once more 
onto the bathroom pillars, but instead going down a ventilation room workshop, which we have not seen. And what's really prevalent is how we're seeing, you know, Artemis play these kind of mind games with reanimated on the different operator selections, which we haven't seen too much from many of these teams, as the, as the Twitch girl is chasing the gate up the steps. Gasser will finally take that out. But you know, Twitch, the Twitch run shouldn't be too important in this match. Uh, this round, I mean. Maybe looking to get the Cade. Cade will probably end up putting a Electro Claw uh, on the A-Bomb hatch. As it looks like, yeah, Castle's doing kind of the same setup that he did for the Customs Inspections hold. And I'll probably end up putting a another Castle Barricaded down uh, on the, the Teller's doorway. Uh, however, it actually looks like they're looking to make the A-Bomb side, you know, all locked up. As upstairs, we will see a Valkyrie and Bandit on a Rome together, playing an Armory. And so this attack for Reanimated will probably end up looking like them taking the upstairs control, taking out the two Roamers, and then pushing down into the site defenders. That's more or less the common attack strat you see uh, out of many of the top tier teams. As IceRG will drone in from Archives, droning himself in on the Ash. Should be calling out the Archives as Claire right now. You can take control of that. Should say, you know, hey, there's a there's an Electro Claw on the Archives hatch. And then now this Twitch drone droning out with him. We'll probably see this Bandit here in a minute. And Bandit playing behind the half wall. IceRG good to push in. As Bandit will push towards the Archive side, and Bandit will see Ice RG, and Ice RG lands an easy kill into Javias and Nomad with a kill into Sky, and that is Castle, who is a site defender. And the other, only other rumor upstairs was Montel, but Montel did rotate down, and now, you know, all three of these defenders are downstairs playing site. So upstairs control is good for Reanimated to take control of. They should be looking to open up holes to floor, move around these site defenders, and maybe get some easy kills. And Sophia will see the Cade underneath the hatch. Cade kind of launches from shotgun shots, will miss Sophia, and Cade taking about half health from that little firefight. As Montel hop hopping back on cameras, I'm not sure, you know, if you want your Valkyrie hopping on cameras at this point in time, you do have two uh, dead players, so they should be watching cams. Uh, but instead, you know, Valkyrie will finally hop off of that. Valkyrie in an interesting corner right here. Uh, you know, no one probably would expect Valkyrie to be in this corner. You know, it might end up being advantageous support to her, but Kate's still shuffling this hatch right here. Maybe looking to C4 a Habana through the, the floor right there, but the Habana pellets do not open up the hatch. Now he will have to wait for Thatcher to come, you know, take out this Electro Claw, claw once more. I don't think Cade can pick that up. So just delaying a little bit of time, but nonetheless, it's a great play out of Ekin. Right there. There's now Nomad playing the Twitch. We'll look to rotate into customs as Montel sitting in that awkward corner, just as I said, we'll get the kill on the ice. And now Montel just needs to, you know, hopefully get away, escape with his life. And we'll rip the C4 and now sitting back into the A-bomb. Looking a little bit more manageable for Artemis, but nonetheless still the man in health advantage uh, to Reanimated. As they just need one or two more picks to really secure this round. As there goes Easily getting a great kill onto the Expert, but he is flashed away. Maybe calling for Valkyrie to watch his back, but instead no one pushes in on that flash. Probably didn't know he got flashed. And so right now, uh, Artemis holding it down, but just as I say that, Nomad gets a kill onto Ekage and Easily gets the trade onto Nomad. And then now in a 2v2. Uh, the attack, the defenders right here really playing together as the, the plant is going down by Havana. Easily needs to push in on this and the coverage fire by Thatcher will stop this push from his tracks. And easily should see the Havana right here almost flicking on both of the attackers. And now should see the, the Thatcher right here now in a 2v1. And the attackers will win round number 5. And that is straight up 2v2. Uh, Reanimated just wins both of their firefights. The Havana and Thatcher right there, the Todd, and I believe that was Omens, really did a good job of, you know, both watching each other's backs, you know, firing as long as they could at one attacker or one defender, then dropping down and, you know, taking cover. And that will lead to a 3-2 advantage for Reanimated. And then now Artemis will get to go to Armory Locker's archives, you know, widely considered the superior site on border. Uh, looking to tie this up to a 3-3 split heading into the half. Uh, at this point, you know, especially on defense, you don't want to go down 4-2. And right now, reanimated, these attacks are really coming together. And I would not be surprised, you know, if they win another one. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. And then, so now we do see Ekage once more playing the mirror. Probably putting one Mira uh, on the armory desk right here, the little small office. And we'll probably put the other one in Fountain. Yeah, or on the armory locker wall. Uh, which I'm not a big fan of Mira's, you know, being placed on the armory locker wall. Uh, 
while it still can be effective, uh, you know, if, if you can coordinate, you know, a little bit of teamwork, you can shoot off that mirror from the metal steps, and anyone playing behind that, you know, can have a rough day. But it doesn't look like that's in the cards right now for Ekin. He probably will end up putting the other one either in, in archives, uh, facing fountain, or in fountain itself. Which actually looks like he probably will put one in fountain as he's shotgunning open the fountain wall. And then so now this attack coming in from reanimated. You see Ice RG on the Ash once again pushing in from the bus side uh, over by the east vehicle entrance. And now uh, Twitch droning herself in here into the security room. There is no one roaming in security, so they can take control of that quick. And uh, Nomad should be calling this out to her Thatcher right here. But right now it looks like Thatcher is hopping on the drone as well. And then now we will finally be taking control of security. As Twitch now droning through security room. And uh, maybe seeing this bandit here trying to shuffle. Maybe, shuff, maybe uh, shocking him a little bit, but he'll probably end up saving that Twitch drone uh, to get rid of the Maestro cam once this wall is in fact opened up. Loading full magazine. See Mira playing the armory wall, and yes, so the other Mira window got placed on the archives wall, and I like how they they opened up the archives, uh, no, not the archives, but the fountain wall right there. Uh, maybe should have opened up the security wall to put more pressure onto the attackers, uh, but nonetheless, yeah, that's what they decided to do here. And Sophia has pushed in through the parking lot alley, but actually hopped right back out the window. And then so Sophia is probably just waiting on the all good and Ash as well to Ash underneath the wall right here, but you know, Bandit is not shuffling that side, and he's gonna shuffle the mirror placements right here. Because I believe he did burn maybe one Hamana pellet. So this attack right now, uh, it, it's coming together slowly, uh, but nonetheless, they're kind of they're moving around the site defenders right now. And then I believe, yeah, that's a great play out of the, the Twitch right there as the mirror camera or underneath maybe uh, got shot out. And so yeah, they're just continually uh, to take more and more control of the site. Ex Eckage maybe here in the Twitch crawling right across him, but I don't think he is. There's too many gunfire going. On. We'll see the Twitch right there and Twitch Nomad crawling in and getting a great kill on Eckage, and now in a five v four. Uh, Bandit is laying down. He should see Bandit right here and Nomad with that fire rate will take out the Bandit as well. Now in a 5v3, Habana should be looking to get the plant down. He should see Maestro as well. Nomad with the triple kill. Great pie. play by Nomad. Almost sees Monta Montel and Montel will shut down Nomad and easily gets a kill onto the Expert. And now in a 3v2 with both defenders at full health, a little bit easier to manage. But the attackers playing smart will hold angles and easily will get downed and Ice RG getting the kill on that easily finally, and Todd the God a kill on Montel, and that's a great push out of Reanimated Nomad, just opening up the floodgates with his push into the armory, and just said, see ya later. And then so now, we're switching sides, Reanimated going to defense, and Artemis going to attack, and uh, you know, Reanimated, they have some really good defensive setups. You know, some really good defensive players, so I'd not be surprised, you know, if they, they take this half to their advantage once more and walk away with this, this game victory. But, uh, you know, they still need to win three more rounds. It's still anyone's ball game. But, uh, so you see Eckridge switching from Ash. That's kind of interesting. You usually see, you know, an Ash on every attack. But, uh, you know, so we'll see a Buck, Habana, Sledge, Thatcher, and whoever Eckridge switches to, which is the Twitch. And I do like that switch to Twitch. That's a response to see in the mirror. And uh, Twitch will need to keep her Twitch drones alive uh, to possibly get rid of those mirrors. But there's there's plenty of ways to deal with the mirror placements uh, in armor. You can go underneath, you know, uh, buck through the floor, get rid of the mirrors. You know, you can Habana the mirrors off the wall, Twitch the mirrors off the wall. So I don't think mirrors should be too big of a problem on this attack. You know, unless the roamers for reanimated gets a few early picks and it makes it to where that is not a possibility for these Artemis attackers. And then, so this is a little bit different than what we saw Artemis do. We saw Artemis open up both fountain walls here on the east side and the west side and then play a, a mirror window uh, in archives. Well, I'm not entirely sure how too effective that strategy is. Uh, we didn't see anyone push from there, so we didn't you know, see the effectiveness of that. But, you know, commonly you see, you know, the mirror right here set up that we're seeing out of Omen. And what that allows to do is you, you get to lock up the whole office side wall you know, offices in general, and it makes it tough to push into offices, whereas, you know, you play that, that mirror window on the archives, and you can get control of offices much more easily. And then, so we are seeing five site defenders out of reanimated right now, no roamers, 
And you see the drone work right now. Three attackers on drones droning out the first floor. And uh, that'll probably give the okay to Buck as he will hop on a drone himself to Buck underneath the floor to get rid of these Miras and Bandit charges on the wall. As Nomad playing the Bandit. Usually we, said, we see Todd playing Bandit, but instead Nomad saying, hey, I'm feeling uh, the MP7 right now. As Javaya should be looking to get rid of these Bandit batteries at this moment. But still waiting on a little bit more drone until a sledge will cover his metal steps as he chooses to do this. The, you know, the wall is very good off right there. Is. There goes Javaya's getting the bandit batteries off the bottom of the wall. And now Habana should be rotating Habana up to the balcony located. to open up the armory wall at this time. His bandit should have fallen off of that. But actually, he's playing aggressive looking at the double door right here. I, I don't know if anyone actually pushed in on him. Uh, but Buck actually will. And waiting on bandit to peek, you will see bandit land shots on the bandit. And that will force the Habana pellets... Uh, to go off as Bandit cannot come to the wall, he will be forced to, to pull off of that. And then now Bandit playing behind the half wall is kind of waiting for Buck to push in uh, into the first floor. As Habana and Thatcher are playing the security room. And Buck is underneath, maybe fragging out the, the Bandit right here. Bandit should see Javias through the window, but instead Javias able to land the kill shots as he goes prone and gets a great kill into Nomad. And that's a way to start your attacking rounds right there with an early pick. Get the first pick in the round granted a minute and 10 in but now you're kind of getting to control the a-bomb right now i'd like to see a little bit more drone work out of artemis as todd the god is able to get a kill into ekage and that is the twitch off the board and while the mirror should be popped by now mirror will see the buck and buck i believe buck is downed if anything uh, but montel will push in on a, push in on the omens and now in a 2v4 that buck is down uh, they need to take control of armory right now because uh, right now both of the defenders are on the archive side as Todd the God is actually downstairs, probably seeing the down buck, and Todd the God with a, a free little triple kill right there, and now quickly to a 2v2. Now Montel playing this Habana, maybe just looking, needs to get the plant down right now. So he should be planting uh, behind the reinforced wall right there, but, you know, just waiting on anyone to come. As uh, Sky actually is the one with the diffuser, as Montel here on the, the Habana should be waiting for anyone to push up on this planter and this plant will go down it but sky's actually hesitating at the last moment and doesn't get it down that is a horrible miscommunication that's, that allows uh, jaeger to rotate behind and he will and montel will down jaeger now in a 1v1 he needs to get this plant down and this should be an easy kill for the legion this legion will push in aggressively but nonetheless habana with not enough time and just can't land the shots onto the legion and I'm not sure what Thatcher was doing there, but he came off of the defuse with like a tenth of a second left. And as a result, Artemis with a round that should have been theirs goes right to reanimated. And you just cannot have that, you know, in such a pivotal round as a 4-2 split. And now uh, reanimated able to take a 5-2 victory. And that's, you know, not something you want to happen. And that's the type of round that, that maybe lead to some, you know, communication errors or some, uh, you know, bitterness in the chat. And uh, as a result, you know... 5-2 for reanimated in a game that should probably be 4-3 at this point. And I see Nomad here switching from the Vigil to the Smoke. Uh, I do like that switch. Uh, smoke brings a lot of utility, especially for plant denial. And with how Artemis has been running low on time, Smoke should be very, very useful. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as possible. And then now we'll see how Artemis decides uh, to attack this workshop uh, ventilation room uh, defense, uh, but reanimated, you know, really in the driver's seat right now. They'll probably look to take this round as well, you know, if, if their own game stays strong. Uh, that'll really be the key uh, to winning the site. I like the reinforcements out of Legion reinforcing the, uh, the detention wall. Just kind of denying a, a quick little rush by maybe like Ash or a Sledge or something. And, uh, you know, just, just simple reinforcements like that. You know, reinforcements that you have in your back pocket that you don't necessarily need to use because of the site you're playing. Uh, can maybe, you know, be a little bit, you know, make some, make the attackers uncomfortable in their approach. Something that they're used to doing. And if you can take that away, like Ash right here, Montel is probably looking to push in through the detention wall. And if you can do that... You know, it just shakes Defender things up a little bit, makes them waste a little bit more time to go through another entrance and at the end of the day. So we'll see how that you know, that works out. But so it's interesting to see Smoke and Doc on a room. Uh, typically upstairs, you might see, you know, Jaeger and Legion room together up there. Uh, but, you know, both of these defenders can be effective upstairs as well. 
Legion is actually playing in customs is Javias uh, opening up a hole in the wall to lock down the rotation between Archives and Armory, cutting off these two defenders from each other as Doc will actually run out of the bus window balcony, uh, trying to catch someone on the, the ventilation room window, but no one is actually there. And now, you know, the attackers right now, they're just kind of... They're very slowly taking map control right now. Uh, taking control of, you know, areas that none of the defenders are in. Just, you know, and right now, they're finally getting to, you know, where these defenders are, which is the smoke and the dock, you know, playing over by archives and armory. Uh, but, you know, a minute 40 in, and, you know, you, you haven't, they haven't been pressured at all. So... Just this attack is really slow on Artemis, and I, I feel like that's kind of, you know, a result of what happened last round. You know, after that, you know, a little bit of a throw out of the Thatcher. As Doc will rotate safer, you know, deeper into our uh, archives. But just waiting on the switch, and Sledge uh, hitting uh, the Fountain Wall right there. We'll get an easy kill onto the Expert, and now in a 5v4, they, they need to pinch the smoke uh, playing in Armory Lockers. But, you know, with these smoke grenades, should be able to stall a lot of the time. As Ash, or Habana right there, a uh, crouch walking into the into the metal steps door right there but uh you know twitch right there e able to get the easy kill and now finally with upstairs control albeit with a minute left uh, you know you got five attackers on the board so you, you know you can still win this uh, however time is running low and you know with the failure to get the plant down last time i'm not sure how much confidence you'll have in getting the plant down and habana will see the valkyrie and valkyrie just barely missing the shots into the habana and valkyrie will actually run out almost catching the thatcher but smartly rotates away and thatcher should be pushing the valkyrie here soon thatcher right behind the valkyrie and montel able to get the kill onto omens and now in a 2v5 it's looking great uh, for artemis as todd the god is looking to rotate up the east steps the plant is going down the plant will get down by the habana and then now in a 5v2 this should be an easy round win out of artemis as twitch is just waiting on jaeger to rotate around and Javias with the easy kill into Todd the God, and the attackers win round number eight. And you know, now, just that last round, you know, that, not this last round, but the round before that, with throw out of the Thatcher, that kind of makes this a little bit unfortunate. This should be a game that is tied 4-4 four to four right now, uh, but instead, our Reanimated is still on a lead against Artemis 5-3. And then so now Reanimated has to go back to Ventilation Room Workshop as they already won Armory Lockers. And there is, of course, a two-round uh, lock timer uh, on site you win. And then so now you'll see the Expert switch from Doc onto Vigil. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, how big of a fan I am of the switch from the Doc to the Vigil, uh, seeing as... You know, with Doc playing in archives, Attackers he really didn't get drone out at can. all. Uh, he just kind of got caught peeking at wide angle uh, onto the fountain wall, which I, I don't think he was expecting, you know, Sledge to be peeking there. Uh, but nonetheless, Sledge got the kill onto him. But, um... You know, really, the only adjustment that Reanimated needs to make to secure this round win is they just need to get one or two picks upstairs uh, with the roamers playing in Armory Archives, and then just drop back down. You drop back down, you know, you, you flood into sight, uh, maybe leak out a little bit playing Customs, and, and you can easily win these rounds. Uh, but right now, it looks like Artemis is starting to pick up a little bit of a momentum. Uh, like a little swing here. As that last round was was pretty much heavily in Artemis' favor. While they, they struggled to take map control for the first, you know, minute and a half. You know, after they got going, they really got going. And I would like to see them, you know, start that pinch onto the Bromers a little bit earlier. But now you see an adjustment out of Reanimated right now. There's actually four defenders upstairs. Well, now three as Valkyrie rotates down to play site with Jaeger. And Legion rotates down as well. So now we're back to two side defenders, the Smoke and the Vigil, the same players once again that we saw last time. And then now, you know, one, once again, kind of, you know, it's not as slow as it was last time joining out, you know, who's playing where. As now, you know, instead of a minute 20 left, you know, we got two minutes 20 left as Sledge is shooting into the armory door. Montel still outside, waiting for someone to, to jump out of the bus window once more. We saw Doc do that last round as Vigil will peek aggressively onto the hallway. 
a shoot in the break room, a not land his shots onto the Twitch and will get downed. And that drone should be calling out that, hey, Vigil is downed. And Javias able to get a kill on the Expert and easily taken out the smoke that was playing upstairs. And then now, you know, just great adjustment to what happened last time, you know, knowing uh, where these roamers are going to be playing and able to take control of upstairs much, much more sooner. And now is down to the three site defenders once more, but this time instead of, you know, having 50 seconds left to hold it, uh, now a minute and 30 as Todd the God will get a great cone to easily, and now in a 3v4, a little bit up, you know, a little bit more upward for reanimated right now. As Ekage will hop right back on a drone. And you see the two site defenders playing right next to each other, uh, with Legion playing over by Tellers. So right now, you know, they they should be good to hop into B-Bomb and get a plant down uh, right behind that little cabinet right there. Uh, in the north corner, northeast corner of uh, Bebop. As Valkyrie popping some shots to the floor, as Ash will throw some flash pains in, burn the ADS, and then take out the barbed wire. And you see Ash making the call right now, saying, hey, let's come get this plant down. As Habana is looking to do just that, as the drone is calling it out to support him. And uh, now you see Jaeger rotating around the hallway, and maybe recognizing that this plant is about to go down. Uh, but Thatcher should be cutting off the rotation from the double door into sight. As the plant is going down by the Habana, Ash is watching Habana. As long as Thatcher is watching uh, Ash, is, Jaeger will run right in. And I see... Oh, there's just a flurry of kills right there. I can't speak fast enough to cover that. And reanimated. What a retake. Just a great retake. And that will be a 6-3 advantage for reanimated. And right there... Thatcher just holding too tight of an angle to, you know, stop Jaeger's rotation uh, into the planner, into Ash, shot Ash in the back, and then he probably killed the planner as well. And, uh, you know, he pushed up to take care of the Jaeger, and just as he did that, unexpectedly, uh, the Legion hopped in. Uh, just, you know, a plant that was looking like it was going to go in Artemis's favor, just an expert retake out of Reanimated allows them to take a 6-3 advantage. And right now, Todd the God absolutely playing 13 and 2. Really standing head and shoulders above the rest of the competition right now. Only two deaths. As that reanimated should be looking to close out this game. As, um, you know, going up to Armory Locker's archives once more. The site that they won the very first round of defense, however, it was, it was more or less a throw uh, with that round being, you know, one. Uh, so, you know, it, Artemis is not out of it yet. They can still, you know, they can still win this. Uh, but, um, Attackers need to locate and defuse you know, as many bombs as they can. Especially, you know, just how quick they were able, you know, to get that retake off. That's just, that's such a momentum play. You know, such a, just a statement resounding. It's a series of plays, and, and it really just... That can affect you as a team, especially going on to match point, because at this point you have to win three straight rounds. You know, you have to win Armory Lockers uh, two, maybe three times. You know, if they decide to go back there three times, but uh, just I don't know if Artemis has it in them to bring this back. Uh, we know they're a great team, you know, uh, but nonetheless, five seconds remaining. It's just not looking good for them. Attackers must locate. Uh, but right now you the see ball. the Mira. Yeah. Once again, putting her mural window on the fountain wall, which I am, of course, a big fan of, as you know. Mira, it looks like Mira's shotgunning holes in the floor. Mira's shotgunning holes in the floor right behind the bomb. I really like those holes in the floor. What they do, uh, if anyone rotates in downstairs, they try to, you know, uh, you know, buck maybe trying to get the mirror off the wall. That's an easy kill. And they probably won't end up seeing that on the drones. Uh, buck, maybe. Should be calling out the hatch just off me. Yeah, Buck. Yeah, Buck will see the holes in the floor, so he should be looking for that. Uh, but nonetheless, that'll that'll make you hesitant uh, to push into sight. As now Twitch has taken control of the the cusp, the break room uh, security room. As he will hop onto his Twitch drone, maybe looking to drop one of these mirrors. Uh, but the defenders should be looking for that at this time. As you do see three attackers on drones, four and now three. As a sledge will push in, uh, Jaeger rotating into the offices. Right back on cameras. And a sledge. Sledging out the, the wall right there. Uh, in the 90 hallway. Locking down a rotation. From up the east steps. But there is actually no roamers. And reanimated right now is just playing. You know. A hard you know five man side defense. I just see once more. The attackers just kind of amassing. 
you know, over by the armory wall, and they, they will drop down, you know, the armory wall right there. It's not big enough to run through, but, you know, you, you can hold an angle through that. As a, I, I'm not sure what happened there. I think there may, might have been a Cade on that mirror, but the, the mirror will get dropped from underneath by the Buck, and Buck will see Omens, and Chris, a great headshot on Omens. Montel with an impressive, impressive kill into the mirror, and now in a 5v4, with the mirror dropped, it's a little bit more manageable uh, for Artemis. But, you know, Cade right here, I believe Cade is running the shotgun as... Jaeger taking some shots from the Sledge. Sledge gets caught in the middle of the hallway, and Todd the God peeks out at the right time as Sledge pulls away and gets a kill on it easily, and the Fuser is going down as Buck is covering him from underneath as Javais kills Expert as the, the planter gets rushed, and Ek is finally getting the plant down as Javais will get away uh, from the incoming Attack attacker. The diffuser. Position compromised. And then now the attacker's just being smart, holding angles, uh, making the defenders push onto them. Right now, it's looking like, you know, this might go in Artemis' favor, but there goes Nomad getting a kill on a Sky, and Ice RG getting a kill on a Ekage. And now, uh, Ice should be able to get this Diffuse off, beating Lash by both of his teammates as Nomad gets a kill on a Javias, and it's all the Montel. Montel needs to come get this Diffuse. The, the plant is going down. He has no grenades. He has no idea the Diffuse is going down. And Legion able to Diffuse the Diffuser, and that will be a 7 to three victory for reanimated gaming just a series of throws right there for artemis rounds they should have won that they were just not able to win and uh as a result artemis or not artemis or reanimated will walk out of here with a victory todd the god impressive 14 and 2 game uh you know reanimated academy uh, we we saw we saw spartan impulse go off with jaeger and now todd the god going off with jaeger i guess you know if you got reanimated in your name and you're you're running jaeger you're gonna go off uh, but Todd the God being supported by Nomad, of course, and then two 10 bombs uh, out of Artemis. And that will be all for me for this game. Uh, probably going to end up popping on a best of three match here soon. And uh, that'll be all for me. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, thanks for stopping by. And bye-bye. Uh,